Hello? I like it when you ask me questions because then it gives me an excuse to talk to myself in front of a camera and then share it with all of you. Um, Anonymous asked, Hey, my excerpts for Allstate this year are some fast pizzicato in the upper register, and I was just wondering if you had any tips to keep it from sounding weird and or frantic. I probably just need to practice it more, but no matter how I do it, it just sounds so strained. It's Pines of Rome. I've never played Pines of Rome, but I am going to tell you about orchestral pizzicato. Um, now, I haven't... I, 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 this morning, I looked over the part at least the part that, you know, um, that, that you had mentioned, and I'm like, yeah, that's like the devil, um, and I listened to it, and I couldn't follow it to save my life, so, and then I just thought, well, I'll just talk about pitzing in general. Um, a lot of people do it too loud, because when you're playing, However, check four goes, you know, people want, you know, d doing that, and I'm like, no, it's, or how, or how, however, that I know that there's F's in, that, that it's an F chord with a D in it, um, because it was fun. However, that one. I'll have to look that up. I played it two summers ago, it was fun. Um, but pretty much, you just want to tap. I highly doubt if you can even hear that. But you gotta think about, and really with it applies to everything, what you're doing is being done by 12 other people. So you need to play, in some cases, 12 times less than what you normally would because times 12 is actually a very nice sound that's more like, you know, but you, you gotta, or you, that, because then it makes a nice pianissimo that's round and full, and, and also, you, you want to do it, I, some, I tend to pits with my pointer finger just because that's what I was taught, but I've also found it useful to, um, if I'm in a rehearsal where I'm doing a lot of pitching, I'll switch to my middle finger. I don't, I don't ever do the thing where, where you use both. That, that's too complicated for me. Um, yeah. Someone send me a video playing the actual beginning part because that was bothering me. Um, so. And then, when you want to do fast pitzes, maybe you could try doing um, two fingers. If that's not too complicated for you, you could try doing that. But um, in the upper register, you just gotta mess to where you get the right sound that you want. You know, go go all over the place and. Then At least on this cello, it's right about there, where I like it, for what I would want in an orchestra, but you just gotta mess around with everything. You just gotta mess around and mess with all the variables that you can think of so that you get the sound that you want. Um, make sure that um, your nails are clipped when you're doing a lot of pitzing because you don't want to get any nail in your sound. I found that when I want to do loud pitzes, um, I do that sort of an action. I kind of wrap my finger, I, I like use the side of my finger and I get like a lot of grab and I really pull it if you don't know how to do loud pitzes. They're like really loud because right now we're doing um, fourth movement of Symphony Fantastique and my youth orchestra, and so I'm like, yeah, loud pitzes in the beginning, you know, loud pitzes, but soft pitzes are, are more common and more important. So, 
in some cases. So I hope that my rambling was somewhat helpful. Hope you all have a nice day and a nice start to school. Um, I know a lot of you guys are starting school soon. Ask me more questions. I really like answering them. I can't promise any frequency, but I can promise that they will get done eventually. Um, so yeah, have fun at school. Have fun being fall, start of the fall concert season. You know, it's getting to be September, and that's when most orchestras start doing, you know, regular main stage season concerts. It's exciting. Have a nice day.